welcome to code effectively the topic for today is to find whether the given number is a bouncy number or not watch this video till the end to know the given number is a bouncy number or not so let's start exactly what the definition of bouncy number says see for example if we are having a number let's say 1 2 3 4 this is my number so you can see from left to right when we are moving from left to right each number is greater than the number fr from the previous number like 1 after 1 we come to 2 so 2 is always greater than 1 we know when we move to more right we can see 3 3 is greater than 2 and when we move to another right we see 4 and 4 is greater than 3 so a number when we go from left to right is such that all the numbers are increasing all then it is known as an increasing number how because all the numbers to the left are decreasing or they are less than the right number the number to the right okay this is known as the increasing number and in the same scenario let's say it would be 4 3 2 1 then from moving left to right we can see every number a previous number when we move from left to right then the previous number or the number to the left is greater than the number to the right you can see 3 is less than the number or 4 is greater than 3 and then you move to 2 then you can see 2 3 is greater than 2 and then you move you can see 1 is less than 2 so here all the numbers are in the decreasing order okay so what is a bouncy number a number which is neither increasing or nor decreasing it is known as a bouncy number okay which means that if the numbers are in increasing order then they are increasing if they are in decreasing order then they are decreasing if they are none of the both above that is not decreasing neither increasing then it is bouncy number okay so for example a bouncy number could be let's say four three five seven this could be a bouncy number because when you go left to right first the numbers are de decreasing and suddenly they start increasing so we cannot put them in the category of increasing or decreasing so what we put we put them in the category of bouncy numbers these are known as the bouncy numbers for another example we can take for the bouncy number could be four then five okay then again we can give a sudden decrease so it could be a bouncy number so a number that does not follow a specific pattern that is neither increasing nor decreasing then they are known to be they are known to be bouncy number this is a for this question could be asked in your interviews or they could be asked in your 12th or icse 10th board exam so watch what i will do so for the program methodology what i will do for the programming algorithm first i will check whether the number is in increasing if it is increasing so we can say it is not bouncy okay if it is not increasing then we will check for decreasing then we will check for decreasing if it is not decrease if it is decreasing then also we can say it is not bouncy because the number is decreasing order and if these conditions goes false that the number is neither increasing nor decreasing then we can say it is a bouncy number so in my program algorithm i have to first check for the increasing if it is not increasing then i will check for the decreasing if it is not decreasing then i will say yes it is a bouncy number okay so i have to make two methods first for checking increasing then for checking decreasing if both the method return false then we can say it is a bouncy number so now let's come i have made two separate methods or two separate methods first it will check for the decreasing then it will check for the increasing okay now i will put you give you a dry run so that you understand how to check for the increasing and decreasing methodology so let's start okay so for example if my number is not a decreasing number not an increasing so it will return false so let's see how um let's give a number let's say three and then one and two this is my number this is a bouncy number we know because it is not following a specific pattern so let's start first it will take what will be the value of last the value of last will be it will be num modulus 10 so when you divide it will be just the last number that is 2 because num modulus 10 after that boolean status the status value will be initially we will take it as true after this we will check while num is not equal to 0 yes what is the value of num 3 1 2 it is not equal to 0 we will come digit is equals to num modulus 10 okay digit is equal to num modulus n so what will be the value of digit num what is the num 3 1 2 divided by 10 so we will get a modulus okay modulus we have to check so the remainder will be 2 after this it will check if digit is less is greater than less what is the value of digit 2 and last is 2 so 2 is not greater than less so condition it will not enter this for loop because 2 is less 
is greater nor neither greater neither less it is equal so it is false now we will take last is equal to digit what is the value of last two and value of digit it will overwrite and it will become two now again the new value of num will be num so i have written a shorthand you can write again here also num is equal to num divide by 10 in the fut in the complete way okay so now it will be 31 okay we have divided by 10 again this loop will run while num is not equal to 0 no num is not equal to 0 it is 31 so digit is equal to num modulus 10 what is the value of now num 31 31 when we, we will do modulus of 10 it will be 1 again 1 okay it will again check digit is greater than is greater than last what is the value of digit 1 1 is greater than 2 what is the value of last 2 so 1 is greater than 2 condition false because we know 1 is less than 2 not greater than 2 so it will return status false so we will return we will give the value status as equals to false so now the status value will be false after that false it will come out and it will return because we have written a break statement so it will come out and return the status so it will return false so with returning false we can say when it will return false we can get that yes it is not an increasing number because when we came 3 1 2 in order to be increasing this one in spite of one there should be four or there should be three or any number greater than two but we got a number less than two so it is not an increasing number because one is less than two so it's not an increasing number okay it had been a four so when we will come to three then it will be again the same condition that three is greater than four this condition would have also gone wrong so it is not an increasing number for increasing number it should be four three two then it would be an increasing number okay now this is wrong now we will go for is decreasing we will check whether the number is it decreasing it's 3 to 1 we will check again last is equals to n modulus number modulus 10 so it will be 2 okay the status flag first we have initialized as true let's take it's true okay now what it will do num is num modulus num is not equal 0 no 1 3 1 2 is not equal 0 digit is equals to what it will be num modulus 10 so it will be 2 again so now if digit is less than last what is digit 2 is less than last condition false because 2 is greater than 2 is neither neither large neither less so it is false so we will not execute these now it will be last is equal to so digit what is the value of last 2 digit is 2 so we will overwrite this by 2 again it will go the loop will go up okay first now it will again give num is equal to and divide by 10 so it will be now 31 again the loop will go up it will check num is not equal to 0 condition true 31 is not equal to 0 now it will be digit is equals to num modulus 10 so now again we will get a new value that is 31 modulus 10 will give you 1 digit is 1 okay now it will check here digit what is the value of digit digit is 1 1 is less than last what is the value of last 2 1 is less than 2 condition what is the condition is true condition is true okay so it will put status is equals to false so now status will be false and it will break and come out of the loop and it will return the status that it is not a decreasing number why had it been a decreasing number so one should not be or any number that would, would be on the left hand side should not be less than the number on the right hand side but one is less than two had it been three three is less than two then the condition would have false and we would be running again the loop but we got 3 to 1 and we came out that 1 is less than the number to the right and we know in the decreasing the number should be like this or the number should be following the sequence like this that the number should be increased the number on the left hand side should be bigger than the number on the right hand side so this is wrong so we got that the number is not a decreasing also so when number is not decreasing not increasing so we can say that the number is a bouncy one I have written a program you can just go and check it out here you can see check this I have written I have just copied that took the screenshot of this only so we have just checked that it is not decreasing it is not increasing so what I will do now I will just put up put this in void main that I have taken a number using buffer data from the user and if the number is less than zero then we can say it is not a increasing not a decreasing nothing but if the number is greater than zero then we will check okay first we will check we will call is increasing function and check if the number is increasing we will print it as increasing number if the number is decreasing we will print it as a decreasing number so now if it is nothing it is not equal to decreasing and it is not increasing also so what we will print 
it is a bouncy number we can put here also that if you want you can put else also else here else if and you can just remove this also it will be very easy that it is not a else you can just give it else that's also perfect it will run okay just to reduce the number of lines so if we was called the is increasing then it is c is increasing we called and then we called is decreasing and finally it is a bouncy number i have used public static void means static and static function here so that i can't create the object that's why i don't want it to create the objects let's run this and check okay let me run this program it is asking me for n first let us put an increasing number it will give it is an increasing number again let's call and let's call for the decreasing okay i'm putting a decreasing number yes it has shown me it is a decreasing number let's run and now we are not putting any number not a neither a increasing neither decreasing so it has displayed it is a bouncy number so this is how you print for the bouncy number hope you like this video if you like this video kindly go and subscribe to the code effectively channel